you about to get married, right? Yeah. And you see a little person on TV, right? <laughs> okay. And your wife <clears throat> says, damn, you know, back in the day, I was a person. What you going to do? Your All fiance. Right. So I'm, I'm about to get married, and my wife says she wee man. <laughs> she get wee man from jackass. I'm then I'm going to think different about her. You going through with the wedding? No, I'm not, actually. <laughs> Yeah, you, you laugh. You. We learned a lot through this podcast. You going through with a woman that let, let you find out your girl let fucking Emmanuel Lewis clap her cheeks. I don't know, man. I mean, I wouldn't want to find that out. What if you found out your girl was smashing, uh, rest in peace, Gary Coleman? Gary Coleman was tearing your girl up from the back. I don't know, man. I mean, that nigga was fucking your girl, Thompson. Say what? What you do? What you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? Man, y'all know what it is. We back again, fucking R A O P. Oh my Jesus, man! Stop cussing. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, man, they got a filthy mouth. This, this, this is a two month streak of oh, <laughs> no monetized episodes. Yeah, we drop. We ain't drop an episode last week, so I guess he excited, man. But we back. Oh, I forgot something, man. Oh my shit, man. It's rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. Had to bring the sheet back. Okay, I was gonna say, what the hell you got going on over there? I thought this nigga was, was finna join the purge. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, RIP. Yeah, I might do the whole episode like this. Man, no get sound. the fuck out of here. <laughs> this is gonna be a short episode later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me take the hottest shit. Let me take Boy. this shit up. Hey, man, but we back 486. Yeah, I know what it is. We thought we was gonna die last week because of the hurricane, but I don't even know that. What's the name of that thing? A dahlia. A dahlia. That shit sounds like a fake chain. <laughs> I see you in that dahlia, boy. Yeah, that's all right. I think I ain't got a medallion. You remember uh, what was that? Gordon Gartrell. That shit Theo Hustlepool was wearing. <laughs> oh yeah, it was like yeah, the yeah. female version be a dahlia mm-hmm. or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, dahlia. That was. How was your experience with the hurricane? Man, for Quote one, a- I ain't even know the hurricane was coming until like a day or two beforehand. <laughs> Man, I watch the news at all. Bruh. Nigga was, uh, I forget what the fuck happened. And, um, oh, my mom called me. She was like, yo, you need to make sure you get some water. Mm. I was like, water? What are you talking about? The hurricane's coming. <laughs> yeah, only reason I knew, because... I seen a teacher. She had hopped on Twitter and she was like, "Oh, ain't no school in the next three days." Oh yeah. And I was like, "Ain't no school in the next three days." And I was about to say, "Nigga, your mama teacher, so she should have hit you all to it." Nigga. Nah, <laughs> this chick on fucking with told me uh, she uh, a teacher. Oh okay. Excuse I was me. like, oh, "Okay, okay, you free." Mm. She gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> And she get the D. D. <laughs> oh man. Hey, shout out for Fargo, man. I'm telling you, you got you one. You got you one with that TikTok song. I ain't gonna I'm, I'm trying not to be disrespectful call it a TikTok song. It it is. It is a TikTok fire, song. Though. But that's that's a banger there. You got you one for yeah. sure. What's the name of it? It's called She She'll Be Okay. She'll be okay. She'll Four be okay. Fargo. For Fargo, as long as she get that D, D. That's a crazy hook. You can't play Bruh, that on the like, radio. I don't know where you could play it outside of the club in the bedroom. First of all, the song is only like if, that. You riding down the street listening to that shit, you got issues. <laughs> <laughs> you you need help. Uh, yeah, you you like them niggas off of that episode of The Wire when they were listening to Splash. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> The episode of the wild when them two niggas in the car listening to Splash Waterfalls on a hit, bro. Them niggas was running a drill. <laughs> niggas pulled up and said, Yeah, what's up? <laughs> I forgot the name of the character, but bro, was like an old boxer or something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, just got out of prison. I forget that nigga name. And I'm watching the series now. I cannot think of this nigga name now. Yeah, I can't remember, bro. I just know he was a boxer. <laughs> you remember when he first got out? He tried to do a drill. Yep. And I, I forgot what happened. I haven't seen a wire since it came out. Man, that nigga got pumped by a jit uh, yeah. when he was trying to sell drugs and shit. Nigga, nigga took his shit. 
Yeah, he was like, all right, bro, let me get back to this boxing ring. Yeah. Where we, this life ain't for me no more. <laughs> I love that part of the show because it's like, yeah, this this the drill shit ain't for everybody. Right, right. Yeah. Rest in peace, Bodie, also. If you're watching The Wire and I just spoiled it for you, I'm sorry. <laughs> came out, yeah, you should have been called it. Shout out to uh, Mark. I think he watching The Wire for the first time. I seen him watching on IG. I said, I said, uh, Said cash at me sixty dollars. I'm gonna spoil the next episode. <laughs> That's funny. That's a crazy uh <laughs> threat. <laughs> Nigga, I'm gonna spoil your whole season, bitch. <laughs> Send me that bread, bro. Shout out to uh, that was Jason, right? Mm. Hey, bitch. Shout outs to Jason, shout man. Jason, Jason man. real nigga of the week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jason came through. He said he wanted me to do the episode. So, but you know, yeah. nigga, nigga turned into Nate Day. Mm, so but doba in this bitch yeah. But yeah he, he sent that bread through Sent the bread And you turn around Say I'm about to smoke Let's Smoke it, again Once the episode <laughs> <laughs> We back baby Nigga like I'm back on that dope <laughs> Man I seen too many dope head videos this week yeah, what, what, other, what other ones you seen? <laughs> I seen one get knocked out Nigga, what? Yeah, uh, you seen the video with Lil Reese? Yeah, that's my they need their ass. Dude. Yeah, look, he definitely does. Yeah, a little um, research. <laughs> that's funny. I sent the video. I ain't gonna say which one of the homies is, but I sent the because he's a because he love that little research video. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah. sent it to him, and he said, "I that's... know exactly." <laughs> <laughs> he said, <laughs> "He responded so crazy." He said, "That's why the nigga get shot all the time." That's, I'm like, "Damn, that is crazy." <laughs> It's true, but it's crazy. I was just about to say, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, a little research. You wildin', man. I did see the video. It's been going crazy. It was that cop. He was about to solicit some coochie, mm -hmm. and he brought the girl in the car. Mm-hmm. Nigga walked up with his arm on her shoulder and whatnot. Nigga was finna get that toppy. Yeah. You seen the, the, the truck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he that said- That bit was sitting broad day. Behind a basketball court. Like, yeah, he was in front of a park. Like, nigga, you seen kids run past it. Like, nigga, you deserve yeah. to lose your job. Yeah, nigga, like, it's going to be okay as long as you get this. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the name of this episode. <laughs> She'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, Yo. like, wait, it was crazy because he got suspended today. And then they said, "What's your goal, like, bro? He should got fired a long time ago. Apparently, he got suspended in 2016 yep. for beating. It didn't say domestic. It didn't say no d domestic violence or child but he, no, no, no. He beat up a three year old, bro. He beat that bit unconscious. He beat a three year old unconscious, unconscious, and kept his job. That's insanity. That's insanity. Yeah. You can't tell me police don't live above the law." Yeah, nigga just got suspended. He just kept his job. They're like, oh, it's okay. It was just, them and NFL they're like, hey, players. They're like, fuck them kids, bro. They ain't my yeah, kid. That's crazy. <laughs> he said, my fault, man. I had a flashback. I had some PTSD, and I elbowed the kid in the face. I thought he was reaching for his diaper. <laughs> <laughs> had to defend myself. Did that. Kept his job. But the 40 ball was the last straw. Well, I don't even know, don't his even last know if it was he the last got, straw. Yeah. He got suspended. He could probably get his job back. Them niggas gave him a lecture. But yeah, man, for cop, like, okay, let's say this may sound crazy. Let's put let's put the the child abuse to the side. Okay, that it that 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 that's a crazy start. But all right, let's say he didn't do that. Right. And let's just say he was just simply just buying coochie. Okay. <laughs> Did he be able to keep his job? Um, no, because it's an abuse of power. Like okay. legit. Um, in any other field, you'd be let go for shit like that. Okay. Let's say I sneak off to the bathroom and get some coochie. Oh, I keep uh, my job. Oh yeah, I don't know if you do it during this podcast. I, I mean, it, yeah, yeah, that'd be different. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, hold it down for a minute. <laughs> Take this nigga Joe. So <laughs> I get up like this. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> That's crazy, but yeah. I think he, he should lose his job just off it just being like, first of all, why are you that horny? Bro, that, you had a park, clearly his kids, like, right in front of you. Yeah. Um, you know, the kids don't know what's going on. It's still kids in front of you. Man, bullshit. Today, these kids, can, these kids can tell you everything. Man, so. them kids are playing 
I didn't go see. They was playing it. They were running full speed. They was paying attention to that piece. Shit. So was the the officer. Yeah. <laughs> was trying to hide that meat. <laughs> <laughs> and to the black It was a black lady too Love yourself queen Black Man. queen Love yourself She probably was working Her way out of ticket bro. Yeah Yeah she probably <laughs> about, Definitely about to get arrested She probably had some warrants Wife's and suspended Yeah but I'm gonna be honest The way that they walked up To the car I was like This ain't their first rodeo Oh no no Definitely not for sure They They They, they got a little thing going Yeah She gonna be okay <laughs> <laughs> Man, that song is actually perfect. Now that I think about it, it's like, damn, you could apply that so many ways. Yeah, the, talk, the song talks as a shit because it's yeah. like he just want to argue just to give it a dick. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to that. The song is hard though. I don't live that life anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, we left that in the twenties, man. Yeah, I ain't arguing for shit today. I, I can leave. Yeah. Oh yeah, back to the hurricane. Bro, to the people that's not in that's not in Florida, bro, them hurricanes are yeah, them shits ain't them, them shits ain't nah. You ain't lying. I mean, like I say, for me, I I I, I check the forecast and whatnot. And once I seen where it was headed, yeah, motherfuckers, a day before the shit was like, <clears throat> oh, you gotta. <clears throat> You gotta tie everything down, anchor it to the ground. Yeah. I'm like, yo, it's going to Georgia. Like, it's yeah. gonna clearly pass us. Yeah, we just gotta like, it's just pretty much you just gotta obey the rules. They tell you to stay off the road, so you just try and stay off the street. You know, because them cops be stopping you. Yeah, for sure. They be like, bro, where are you going? What you doing out here, bro? <laughs> yeah, bro. Everything literally closed. Just take you. What you doing out? You you up to something? You up to no good? I actually did have to go up to the store. Um, during a, during you know the day the hurricane was supposed to pass through us, mm. <coughs> and bro, I was speeding <coughs> like a motherfucker. <coughs> License suspended. <Damn. coughs> Nigga, I seen my first cop. <coughs> like Lord, don't 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 pull me. Mm. Nigga, chill, right? Nigga, I got up on that second cop. I say they out you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they out you. Hey, what you would have did if the cop would have pulled you over and he would have been like, it's going to be okay. Okay. <laughs> Take me to jail, sir. Take me to, you ain't, I don't even need my Miranda rights, nigga. But call another officer and set me in his car. It's going to be okay, Joe, if you get <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Send me to jail right now. Get me, a, get me away from this officer. I'm going to call another officer my damn self. Hey, I was speed, man. Come pick me up on the highway, bro. We'll call get your freaky way. ass. Get your freaky ass friend. Yeah, nigga, I'm about to go. I'm about to do the race, nigga. <laughs> Bruh. We go to a high speed mm -hmm. chase that day. That's funny. Dude, you gonna get your ass beat and then to <laughs> I'm out of here. This episode over. <laughs> this episode over, man. I'm out of here, man. <laughs> this episode is over, man. Bruh, that so that's crazy. It was, so when they were like, first of all, I don't know about you, but my lights kept going on and off. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I, I was at the store most of the day, so I don't even oh, know. Okay, yeah. So that bit brick, bro. I was like, shit, this might be the <laughs> best place to be. <laughs> that brick fly off and hit you. You ain't lying. That bit might crumble. Oh man, I said I almost said something crazy. Y'all would have got me up out of here. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're gonna talk about a brick later on today. Uh, half pound brick. Yeah, not that kind of brick. Um, I'm over here just saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out OJ the Juice Man. Just because I was driving, so my lights is out. So it's like, nigga, and I was starving. So I was like, nigga, and the lights is out at uh, like almost like two hours. So I was like, nigga, I ain't about to eat nothing in this fridge. Like, let me go get some food real quick. I drive down Dun Avenue, literally everything was closed. Only thing open was McDonald's. That's crazy. I did hear that. Um the lights was out over by me. Um, but while I was at the crib, went, all my shit was good. So I didn't even think about it, right? <clears throat> um, I called a little girl and she like, yo, shit. I was like out of power most of the day. So I had to conserve my battery and shit. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. What happened, bro, when your lights go out? I mean, yeah, but. Yeah. That shit crazy, nigga. Because I woke up, my battery, my phone was on 10%. Oh, uh, yeah. So That's yeah. ugly. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, 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 this ain't good right here. Hey, you know my shit don't go above twenty percent, so 
my shit go out, it's a wrap for me. That shit nasty when you your shit on ten percent. You ain't got no electricity. Yeah. You like you got to stay off your phone. And the temptation for, grows. For like a kid, caveman, you like. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you be want to grab. You like, man, what they doing on Twitter? Yeah, yeah. They don't even matter, nigga. You, 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 you leave that phone alone, nigga. You want to start doing all kinds <laughs> of shit, nigga. Start looking for snake on in the apps and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, start playing games and shit. But yeah. But yeah, I because I ain't charge up my laptop. So either, usually I just put the phone to the laptop. I'm trying to, I ain't charge shit up. Yeah, I was a dumbass nigga, man. So yeah, bro. I wasn't prepared. I didn't take the hurricane serious. And yeah. that, what's the name? Alanya? Medallia. Medallia. Hurricane <laughs> Medallia. I ain't taking you serious. <laughs> I don't know my, how much damage bro did or she, she did. Shawty. I Shawty. I don't know how much damage Shawty did, but hey, we still alive. We're still alive. I Bro, that's like, a hard video, actually. I ain't, I don't know about that. That, I video, mean, that video is ignorant as shit. The nigga was jumping around on a crutch. That nigga said, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Yeah. I would have had a double back if I was that nigga. Oh, oh bro, 100%. percent. <laughs> I would have hit the nigga that, that would have did painted the, the town red. That did the video. I was like, hey, man. Give me that drop. Yeah, where you shot this? <laughs> Before I shoot you. <laughs> oh, you said which hospital? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and give me that. Yeah. I'll be like, I'm that nigga cousin. Yeah, yeah for real. That's crazy. But we ain't missed much last week, I don't think. I don't I don't really can't really remember. I don't Who know. cares? But uh let's get into let's get into this episode, man. We got like fifteen minutes in. Of nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what, what, what you want to do first? You want to do voicemails? You already know who we got a voicemail from. <laughs> the one and only. <laughs> you got, got one Let's do B-Lab. listen to questions. Let's do listen to questions? Let's do listen to questions. I think last time I chose voicemails. <clears throat> All right. To send those in, hit us up. Mail at ariopodcast.com. It's mail at ariopodcast.com. Shout out to McDonald's. They said I got a free McChicken. So. Uh, but... Yeah. Shout out to the McChickens. I heard them bitches like three, four dollars now. Nah, they two dollars. Oh. <laughs> they they a dollar ninety. That's niggas crazy. go on niggas go on a DoorDash and be like, oh, that's the price now. Yeah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> DoorDash upcharge that shit. <laughs> so nah, that's not the price because they DoorDash gonna they gonna upcharge you because most people got like the Dash Pass. Yeah, yeah. Or the Dash Pass like eleven a month. Yeah, so you get the free like the free delivery. So most people got that. So they were like, oh, we are gonna get you somehow. So they were like, "Oh, McChicken's two dollars." No, today, no, nigga, they're four thirty on here today. Yep. Yeah, they're gonna get you. They're gonna, yeah. So believe it or not, they don't. The the company actually doesn't make money on shit less than five dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. Like on items less than five dollars, because Trap House was like that. I had to ask them one time. I was like, "Yo, why y'all don't put the bricks and um." Yeah. X, Y, and Z on the uh, menu. It was like, look, when we sell that shit, it's basically free to y'all. You know what I mean? So Damn. <coughs> yeah, because I know, I think I tried to do DoorDash, like, Trap House one time. <laughs> I think literally, like, only thing Half they- the menu, yeah. Yeah, it's just like wings. Yep. Wings and shit. That's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm good it, on it, that. It, it's like wings, and then I think they do, like- the plat like where you can get the combo shit. Yeah, they don't and do the that, sandwiches. Yeah, nah, they don't do the sandwiches, and they don't do none of the like desserts or sides with that shit. Yeah, I be saying that like they don't do no drinks and that. I like yeah, y'all want to take that bit off DoorDash for real. Yeah, man. Uh, hey, y'all people, man. I don't know if y'all niggas do that for net. Stop doing that. The Lord watching you. You know how people do the uh they get their food. People be bragging about that and then say they ain't get their shit. Nah, that's fucked up. That's <coughs> fucked up. Cause yeah. you fucking up the uh driver at that point. That's fucked up. Damn, the driver get in trouble? Yeah, yeah. Damn, I thought who, maybe the rest was supposed to deliver it. Okay. They do the you could do the other one too. You could be like, you got the wrong food. They give you full refund for that too. Nah, I mean, either way it's on the driver because the driver's supposed to check it. But I mean, well, the check ain't. If I be like, nigga, I ain't get no cheese on my shit. Give me a yeah, refund. Yeah, yeah. The driver, I mean, the driver better not be checking my sandwich like that. Nah. <clears throat> God damn it! Don't open my bag. Like, give me, <laughs> give me what they gave me. <laughs> yeah, I only had one DoorDash uh, incident where I didn't get my food, and I was, I was like, that's kind of fucked up. I've had a couple. One I fell asleep on. Like I completely fell asleep, and then I woke up, and that nigga ain't leave the shit or nothing, bro. 
Damn, what he did? He just ate your shit? Yeah. I did that shit on the Uber one time, and bro, I had like two stops set. It was late as fuck. It was like a, bro, that shit was like a 45 minute Uber, nigga. And this nigga drove laps. You know how they show you the map of where all you went? Yeah. Bro, that nigga was everywhere. Damn, he ain't wake you up? Fuck no. Nigga ain't call. I, I think he texted me, waited five minutes and dipped, bro. I was like, this fuck nigga. Oh, you wasn't in the car? No, not at all. Oh, damn. That's what your narcoleptic ass get. Man, fuck you. Nigga just went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, who does that, nigga? Oh, you just said, I'm about to take a nap real quick. Bro, I just passed out. I, I was like, man, damn, I'm about to dip. Boom. What's wrong with you, man? Nigga just be falling asleep, nigga. Mm. <laughs> I have, like, almost, like, but I always put it with the door dash. I always put it, leave it at the door. Bro, I don't know. I thought I left it. I thought I had something set, bro. Yeah, I remember one time I thought my neighbor died because she did a DoorDash order and she had her food left at the door. And that, that I swear that food was at that door four days. That's insane. I think like an animal ate that bit eventually. That's crazy. I, was like, I don't know what y'all got going on over there. Yeah, nah, you might have should have reported that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a terrible neighbor. But if y'all listen, if y'all on the Patreon, I be talking about my neighbors on there. Sometimes when I record, you can hear them. <laughs> they was having a Royal Rumble match the other day, the last bonus episode I recorded. Bruh. Them laying, niggas go crazy over there. They were laying a smack down over there. I got I got a toxic neighbors up and one down. <laughs> I, I know y'all seen the picture. You seen the picture I was putting in the group chat. They had a tent in front of my door. <laughs> no, I ain't see that. Bro, they had I a ain't see that. listener. They had a tent. That's the same family with that lady that uh started singing Throat Baby to me. No, don't, them people gone. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, that's crazy. Bro, yeah, that they, shit was insane. Yeah. That lady was in her sixties. Yeah, she was saying throat baby to you. Bro, I walked out the door and she was like headed in. Mm. And nigga, we met like under the steps. Shout just just saying, throat baby. <clears throat> and looked me in my eyes. She threw you the bat signal. You ain't take it. Yeah, I did not. <laughs> I did not. You would have took them teeth off. <laughs> okay. Went crazy. Okay. But nah, it's like the people now, nah, I don't think you've ever seen. you probably never seen them. But yeah, they're like <laughs> next door. They toxic. You know, uh, you know the signs of a crazy woman. You know the signs that you that you definitely gonna get some when you go over a woman house. What's that? So they got the cinnamon broom. You know what a cinnamon broom is. Mm. So if she got a cinnamon broom in front of the door, you're definitely gonna get some. That's an interesting take. If you look going her house uh-huh. all the way, and you look at the wall and you see a dream catcher, okay, on the wall, one hundred percent, definitely beaten. One hundred percent. Hold up. Third one. Uh-huh. Third and final one. I'm waiting. Live, love, laugh on the wall. Okay. Definitely, definitely smashing. What's the other one? You got you got one. You missed number one. What's number one? Number one is the fucking blanket. Like that little uh, (laughs) astrology sheet. I know what you're talking (laughs) about. When you see that, it's tacked to the top of the wall, bro. Yeah, when you definitely when you see that on the wall, you're clapping. Women go through that phase, (laughs) and that's when you know, like you walk in that room. Nigga, your confidence is through the roof. Yeah, especially if you see it and then it got the the the, the lights over, like the Christmas oh, looking bruh, lights. Oh, bro, bro. Oh yeah, you're bruh. definitely smacking. Right? You ain't even gotta chill. You know what I'm saying? It's like let her do her thing for a minute, nigga. You just get comfortable yeah. real quick. Yeah. She finna walk out and be like, it's on. Yeah, bro. You ain't even. All you gotta do is just sit down and act like you playing, like you getting looking at Netflix. Like, nigga, like you chilling. Oh, yeah, fine. You just playing around, bro. <laughs> at that point, you, you waiting on her. Dive in your lap. It's like <laughs> that's crazy, man. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's number one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't know why that's I forgot that, one. but yeah, the definitely. Astrology sheet. Yeah, the, the little the little blanket. Live, love, laugh. Cinnamon mm-hmm. broom. Mm-hmm. And what else? I said the dream catcher. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely smashing. You, you if you it. if you didn't smash, what them what them young niggas say? You ain't got no reason. You ain't got it. You, you just ain't got, ain't no got reads, it, man. All right, let's get into these listening questions, man. We set them bitches up like ten minutes ago. We still ain't. I was gonna them. say I don't even know how we got here. <clears throat> I don't know. Um. Do this one from DJ Larry. He said, if you could drive only one old school and only one exotic car, which one would it be and why? Hmm. You know me, man. You know, man, I love that Buick Grand National. That's mm-hmm. my dream car. Black. I don't know. I don't know if I'm putting rims on it. Yeah, of course, of course you got to put some little rims on it. Yeah. Put some 20s and 4Gs. You know, for me, it's going to be an Eldorado, old school Eldorado. 
Yeah. Um, what's uh, uh, Bank Rose Fresh at? F, F on the rim stand for fuck it, I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with that. Yeah. Um, you said El Dorado? Yeah. Mm. El Dorado. Why, though? Um, Is that, that's just a dream car? One of them. One of them. I mean, I got, I definitely got to have a classic El Dorado. I mean, I, I've, I've had, what, three? I want to say three El Dorados now. You ever seen the Roe James album? Uh, hold on. It's called El Dorado, and on the front he got an El Dorado. His shit hard. Hold on, let me find it. Go on my Apple Music real quick. He got that song Permission. He got a. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if it's like I don't know if that's an actual El Dorado or it's like Photoshop. I don't know. I don't know. That picture does look insane, actually. <laughs> They got a Mexican poncho on. Like, why he would even take that angle for any of of the us that like the car uh-huh. shouldn't be there. I don't know, man. He's just I don't know. He's an RV nigga. I don't nigga know. sitting with his crotch up. Thank God for that poncho. Yeah. <laughs> Eldo, so he said, uh, one was it one old school and one exotic. What's a exotic? Like a newer? Uh, nah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I guess. Um, Something uh, foreign, something okay. high end. I'm assuming. Oh, okay, uh, like uh, so, like yeah, just like a like we'd be like a Lamborghini, Lamborghini, yeah. something like that. Most folks think of <coughs> foreign when they say exotic. Exotic, okay. Damn. Um. See, I don't know. I I, I can't say that. Like the exotics cool, don't get me wrong, but I don't know that they necessarily like fit my fancy in the sense I would want to drive that. Yeah. On a, on any kind of a basis, honestly, like it'd be cool to own a few and be able to take them out. Yeah, I would never want to drive a Lamborghini every day. You're not a Porsche type nigga. Nah. Well, shit. When you get to old school, you really can't drive to old school every day. True, indeed. You got a point, but there are there are several cars I would go with for an everyday car. To be honest. Damn. So I would say for me. Like my 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 exotic, I think would be probably a Bentley. Bentley, okay. Bentley, what continental? I love it. Um, so I, I the continental. Um, the other one was the uh, it's like a passage or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. But I gotta think about it, man. I'm not those really, business class. I talked about it. I'm not really a big car person, so I don't really be paying attention to them like that. Yeah, I don't know too many names outside of the Cadillacs. Uh, let's go. In the model names, I mean, is a Corvette exotic? I, I mean, C8 today it is. C8, yeah. Let's go with that. Not the not the eighty thousand dollar one, the two hundred thousand dollar one. Stingray. Let's go with that. Stingray. Yeah, Corvette. Vetti Stingray. I don't want nothing that I can't by. like. If I can't flex that shit out, I don't want to do it. Like you can't, you can't, you can't push a fucking Porsche on on ninety five here. Mm. I want to feel them four hundred horses. Get a uh, get a Urus. You seen what's called? I got a fake ass Urus now. Bu- Buick. <laughs> nah. Got a Urus. It ain't called a Urus, but it's like a Urus. That's that's funny. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, DJ Lear, I hope we answered your question. See, I always, I, I'm not always a big car person, and Joe, old schools. Joe don't like cars. Joe, Joe like Stanley Steamers. He like old ass. Yeah, I do like the old. <laughs> not no 1920s niggas <laughs> like 60s I'd say to like mid 70s on some the yeah. Pontiac seven uh uh what was it the GTO in 79 I think it is yeah uh-huh. like the Dodge Studebaker I like the motherfucking the shit the Bonnevilles was nice yeah. I like them big boxy motherfuckers whatever whips Charlie Chaplin was driving man what the fuck is you talking yeah. about <laughs> 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 whatever whips that nigga was driving, bro. Whatever the whips alfalfa from the, man, the whatever, rascals are driving. Put you in the back of one of them motherfuckers, <laughs> man. Nigga, Paul, that's crazy. Man, Paul, bro. You Paul, know what I mean. Paul. <laughs> uh, 
Next one from um, Put your dead body <laughs> Alright <laughs> Skip that one Before I read the Josh one uh, Did we do this one from King If you could be anyone in history for a week Nah Who would you be And why And he also said in light of the 50th anniversary of hip hop What's your favorite hip hop album of all time And your favorite era of hip hop uh damn if I could be anybody and why nigga I wanna be myself nigga I wanna be <laughs> fuck nigga I'm just playing damn be anybody in history damn for a week a damn, week a, a week a week is a decent stretch <clears throat> nigga I wanna be Jordan bro one of them championships mm. probably that uh the, probably the six one mm, that's amazing that's a great choice what's the what's one of the championships where they try to poison, bro. They try to, I forgot, I think it may have been like the fifth one. May have been the sixth one. They try to poison them in Utah. They try to give them yeah. that badass cheeseburger or something, or pizza or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I'll be, yeah, I'll be on that week, but I'll be, they'll, they'll lynch me if I was Jordan, because I'll be talking shit. I'll be saying all kind of crackers. Yeah. After yeah. hitting that last shot. I wouldn't have made it out of Utah if I was Jordan. See, Jordan, he, he, he hit the shot on Brian Russell. He kept it humble. As soon as I would have hit that shot, Fuck all you crackers. I'm Suck to, my dick. I'm trying to think of who I who I would. I don't know. See, I'm gonna go sports every time. Cause I feel like sports, that just like when I think adrenaline sports. From, yeah, from the adrenaline one or something, yeah. I think of like, you know, Dion hitting a home run and and yeah. scoring a touchdown same week type shit. Yeah. I think of yeah, because I see I'm yeah, like I said, I'm gonna pick a sports person every time because I want to do like something with uh, that uh, with a rush of adrenaline, right? And just feeling like that nigga, and I feel like sports is like the ultimate him thing to do. Yeah, yeah, I give you that. Also, I would have been also know what I would have picked. This kind of ignorant. I would have been bro that killed Ben Laden. I know that was a dressing energy right there. Nigga, that's crazy. Hey, man. You a morbid motherfucker. <laughs> I follow this Instagram account called Morbid Facts. You should you should check that shit out. I will, come on, bro. You know I watch that. Okay. It's the white dude with the mustache? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I, watch, yeah. I, watch, I, watch, I watch them shits. Yeah. Salute him. One of my favorite episodes when he told the story about them. He said uh, the set of the Teletubbies is flooded because the dude that owned the land was hating. Cause a bunch of people used to come over to see the Teletubbies. Yeah, and he was like, "Bro," and the Teletubbies had got canceled. And he was like, "Man, Teletubbies ain't here no more." He flooded the whole land. He turned into a pond because he was a fucking hater. But a real nigga like me, I would have got the bag. I was like, "Yeah, this is where Teletubbies was at." You want to take pictures? Straight you up. Get five dollars. Straight up. He ain't got no hustle. He's just a hater. You he can drive got, the property. He just got hated. See, when you a hater, you don't think about money. You just think, bitch. Your brain, bitch, bitch, bitch. You know, you got four sections of your brain. His yeah. is hoe, bitch, fuck, nigga, <laughs> retard. I got to edit that part out. But it's just them four parts. <laughs> he, ain't got no, he ain't got no hustle in his brain. So he said, I'm going to flood the Teletubby land. <laughs> yeah, he, he's definitely a, a, a dumb ass boy. Nigga, I would have had one of my homies. I would have had you or somebody. You a Devin. Uh, nigga, put on a. I <laughs> hey, bro, put on a. Uh, hey, bro, put on a telly cost on twenty dollars an hour. <laughs> nigga, twenty dollars an hour. Nigga, you a hey, twenty dollars a person, bitch. We gonna charge these niggas fifty. Yeah, nigga, a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody eating. Yeah, bro. One of y'all niggas put on a tinky winky costume and go like, like, hey, bro. We about to get this there. bread, nigga. <laughs> Teaching the kids raps and shit. Yeah, yeah. One of y'all niggas, one of y'all niggas pop locking his tinky winky costume. Straight up, he, he didn't money, bro. But yeah, brain hustler. He just, a, he's just a bum. Uh, what was King of the part of the question? He said, in light of the 50th anniversary of hip hop, what's your favorite hip hop album of all time and your favorite era of hip hop? Damn, my favorite hip hop album of all time is probably, damn, probably one of the Kanye albums. I'm either going to go Nas Illmatic or I'm going to go Kanye Beautiful Twisted Dark Fantasy or Late Registration, one of them. Yeah. 
So it's definitely Nas for me. Um, I think that graduation was big for me. Yeah. Graduation, I remember that shit like yesterday. Yeah. Um, I got like three that's because you you go Kendrick also. Oh man, Good Kid, Mad Good City, Kid, man. Yeah. Woo. That 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 release was crazy. I remember we listened to that shit like three times before we even realized it was cycling. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I had that bit a week early because you know you, you know leak, leak, she used a leak a week early back then. Yeah, I think for that one, um, shit. Me and Russell talked about it and we was like, nah, we waiting on that shit. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Was you there, Dick? Was you there when we had seen Kendrick nah. performing Orlando? Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had went like I think he 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 came in Orlando the week it dropped. Yeah, I think like it dropped because I think album then it dropped Tuesday and he did the show Saturday or Friday and that nigga ain't performed no songs from that shit. I was like, That's Yo, crazy. That's crazy. I mean, he still had a hard catalog leading up to it, but yeah, that's insane. Yeah, he tricked us. What, uh, what Shaq said You tricked me <laughs> I thought he, he was like Yeah He's like Yeah let's get into the new album Then nigga just swimming pools And ended the show That's yeah. crazy And then he left Everybody was like Everybody was sick Everybody started chanting Kendrick 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 Like he's about to come out That nigga ain't never come back out The Shit. nigga ain't fuck with y'all Yeah man He ain't fuck with Orlando He ain't fuck with Warlando <laughs> Yeah put some respect on it Favorite era of hip hop Damn Probably, uh, I'll probably say early 2000s. Early 2000s was great. Um, late 90s, early <clears> 2000s. <throat> yeah, because late 90s, you got, thing, you got all the classic cash money shit. Yep, and that's exactly what I was thinking about. Jay-Z, one of my favorite, Ludacris, he was dropping shit, T.I. Mm-hmm. So what, I know everybody say, like, snap music, kill hip hop. They were trying to say, like, D4L just killed him off and all that shit. But that era around, like, when Jeezy was popping, Jeezy, yeah, T.I., yeah, all yep, that, was, yep. and that Luda, was fire. Yep. Yeah, that was fire right then. Yeah. yeah. That 2007, 2006. Man, that Chicken and Beer album, that was chicken a great release. Yeah, I think that came out, like, 2004, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, that was a great release, though. Like, man, that... that yeah, I think in 07, I think he dropped Theater of the Mind. That was a, that was a good one right there, too. Nah, I'm just thinking about um, favorite album and shit. Like, yeah. that took me back, you know what I mean? Like, But yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know that Snap Era killed hip-hop, but it definitely, like, changed in a drastic way after that. Hey, man. You was you, you was listening to party like a rock star? No, I wasn't actually. I mean, in the clubs, but I ain't listening to them niggas like outside of that. You had a glitter um, belt buckle, boy. Stop. <laughs> um, party like a rock. Nah, niggas wasn't listening to that. Was it shop boys? Who who else was doing that shit though? Um, D4L. Nah, it was them franchise group. boys. Well, I fucked with them franchise boys. Their first album was pretty hard at uh, the time. What's them other niggas? <laughs> Trillville. I did not fuck with your reveal. Um <coughs> You ain't fuck with that album? It was like a it was like a it was little scrappy and trillville together in one album. It, it was, was straight. There. It was straight. Get on my level, ho. Yeah, they had Get some bangers. Level, they had some bangers, but some the album cut was, was hard. Like, yeah, some cut was crazy, bro. Bro, you tripping, bro. What Trill- it is, ho. What's, What's up? up? Trillville is hard, bro. You tripping. <laughs> Can a nigga get in do good? <laughs> yeah, bro. That's scrappy. Bro, that, 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 shit went, that shit went insane. What bro named Bo Hagen? It's yeah. Bo Hagen. <laughs> what Bo Hagen up to, bro? He work at Kmart. Bo Hagen had a little, I, I wouldn't say a run, but he did I think Bo Hagen was going at shit. it with Devin on Twitter one time. That's funny. I think Devin said something about Bo Hagen, and that nigga said, at Man. me, bitch ass nigga. That's something like that. I was like, damn, bro. He wanna he wanna squabble with you. Yeah, that nigga want to fade. <laughs> <laughs> Think Devin had laughed it off. I was like, nah, bro. Bo <laughs> Hagen wanna, wanna beat that ass, brother. You gonna have to get a, a, a Atlanta permit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Uh damn. I think we did this trap one already. Yeah, we gotta put this one on the screen. Ran, Ran said, what y'all doing if bro p- 
pulled it on y'all. Pause. So yeah. it's a nigga in a wheelchair with a gun. In his like in his, feet. his foot. Yeah. <laughs> nah, this insane. Like I am throwing anything at this nigga foot and I'ma just knock the gun clear across the room. Bro, I'm kicking that I'm kicking that shit like Bruce Lee. You gonna fly across the counter and kick that shit? No, oh no, no, no. Damn. In this situation. Hold up, he not moving fast enough. Yeah, bro. Nothing about that. Like, ain't no way in hell I'm getting robbed. Yeah, I'm about to throw something at his head. I would have called the police as I'm walking around the store. Yeah. Like, officer, look, I mean, this dude, I ain't believe it till I seen it myself. He trying to shoot me with his feet. Yeah, I'm out of Yeah, nigga with a, a, a foot nigga with a First gun. off, I'm, 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 I'm going to tell him. I'm testing your gangster. Bro, you can't be barefoot inside my store. <laughs> you got to shoot me from the sidewalk. Do you come on? Like, do you come inside the store with the no shoes on? Yeah. <laughs> They take your socks off like, hey, sir, you can't come and take your socks off. <laughs> I know it's stanking in there. Bro. He got that gun on his socks. Damn, bro. Nah, man, it's this, uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm tackling, bro. And the question is, like, how the hell did this nigga ride down the entire street with the gun just sit? Like, where, <laughs> where, where was the gun? I'm assuming this lady is with him. I was thinking that, too. Because she just too calm. Yeah. Is he pointing at her? That's what I kind of thought for a second. He cocked it with his feet. Bruh, that, 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 I would have been grossed out by that. This nigga a primate. <laughs> yeah. Bruh cocked the gun with his feet. And still got to maneuver the, 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 the wheelchair to get around. Yeah, because he ain't got a motorized. He, he a broke boy. He just got a regular wheelchair. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know, bruh. I don't know, man. If you get robbed by somebody with no hands and just feet, they got to like. You should have let them shot you. Yeah, bro. You got. Yeah, I got to test you out, bro. I got to like, bro, you got to shoot me, my nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not about to let you rob me with your feet. Yeah, nah. Nah. All right. Uh, Von Zarelli, he said, who y'all think got a classic album that don't get mentioned enough? I'm going to go with Project Pat with Mr. Don't Play. And laying the smacketh down. Y'all know me, man. Ludacris, man. Word of mouth. That's a classic. I feel like word of mouth is definitely a classic. classic man. Word of mouth is definitely a classic. Yeah, and back for the first time. I think mm -hmm. Ludacris' first two albums are classics, mm -hmm. and they don't get mentioned enough at all. That's real. I think Luda just got too animated and when he got into the acting so heavy i think niggas really took him out of the conversation of rap period but yeah um it's a couple of ludicrous songs that age terribly oh a couple nigga a couple yeah man just a couple man boy it's he probably like it, man. 10. you ain't listen to blueberry yum yum no more what you ain't listen to splash waterfall no more Oh, Splash Waterfalls was straight. But. I like the remix, the uh, the one that they did with uh, they had the uh, uh, it was they they did like a mashup with the Tony 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 song. Okay. Yeah, like okay. whatever you want. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I like that version. I don't like the straight up Splash Waterfalls. It was straight. Yeah. Um, but that shit with Justin Bieber, you did. <laughs> yeah. You talking about baby? <laughs> oh, that's what it was. Yeah. The the baby, baby. Yeah. yeah, that was a hit though. Yeah, that was a hit. But yeah. his verse went. I think it got like the most views on YouTube ever. Well, I think it did. It had like something billion, like five billion or some shit. Yeah, like that. that's crazy. Yeah. But it never was I don't think it was ever a number one song. It was like number two. But it just got like the most views. Interesting. Yeah. What you got? Um Hmm. I don't know. That's a good question. I might have to come back to that. All right. I'll, okay, this one from um, motherfucking two times. Which state or city has the worst niggas or people? Meaning, when they walk in the room and say where they from, you already know what's up and don't want to be involved. Yeah, so what city got the worst niggas? Mm, I don't know. I'm When I hear niggas talking from New York and they fast talking... <laughs> I immediately remove myself. Hey man, I think Orlando niggas kind of corny, bro. Yeah. Usually when I'm usually when you meet a not a transplant that live in Orlando, I'm talking about a nigga that's straight up just from born and raised in Orlando. Nine times out of ten, they're they're usually a green ass nigga. 
I don't know, man. I can't. I can't vouch for you there. You can't vouch for me there. Nah. Um, then I, I, I just met different niggas from Orlando. Yeah, I'm not too fond of the Pensacola niggas, also. Yeah, boy, them Pensacola niggas shoot you. Did you see what Devin posted today? Yeah, I told him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you need to be focused on him, not me, because he actually in your city terrorizing it. Yeah, I, I actually got somebody on the lookout. Oh, okay, so that yeah. Nigga, that, nigga, that nigga passed through a no fly zone. Yeah, you know, you recognize where he was at? Uh huh. Damn. I know exactly where he was at, actually. Yeah, Devin is on his way to Louisiana. He's our correspondent because BG is free. Yeah. So he's going to get the exclusive BG interview. Live so. on the scene. So, yeah, we got him driving over there. If he doesn't get it, that probably means Birdman beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually looking forward to Birdman beating his ass. I'd rather, have, I'd rather him get his ass beat than get this BG interview. Birdman should torture right now. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the nigga getting torture rack and he said, We're doing it for me, Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> Had a nigga on the shoulder. That's funny. A Miss Gladys rack. <laughs> <laughs> this one for me. <laughs> this, one for, this one for her. Uh, so you going with New York niggas? Yeah. I don't know what New York niggas did to you, man. I mean, it ain't all New York niggas. It's just them fast talking motherfuckers. And I mean, the niggas that sit down with you and try and hold uh, yeah. a thirty minute conversation in ten sentences. Yeah, we did used to have like some green ass New York niggas come down here. Uh, that little, like I'm from New York. It be the niggas they be having the do rag on, and the do rag oh. be tied in a tie a knot, as soon and they have as a big ass that. Yankee fitted on, and they got the three slits on the eyebrows trying to wild out. Yep. I know a had, nigga named Deuce that was from New York. <laughs> like nigga, your mama ain't named you too. The, <laughs> you see a nigga they be having the, the, the big ass diamond ninja star earrings. Yep. That hey. boy, you describing this nigga to a T. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Hey, they be, they come up to you. They're like, I'm from I'm from New York. You're like nigga, I knew about them green ass earrings. Cause we don't wear those. <laughs> Bruh. Nigga wear ninja star earrings. Nigga had two plates. Oh, is it, yeah. Nigga had t- the two polo shirts on. Yep. <laughs> Wore yep. both of them up. <laughs> he was like, Bruh. yo, I know you from New York, my nigga. That nigga was running around trying to start a G unit south. Bruh. This one for him. Green ass nigga. You applied. What the fuck? <laughs> you wasn't fucking with G unit? Man, the only nigga I really fucked with like that was Lloyd Banks. Like, 50, first album was hard as fuck to me. Second album, I was like, all right. Yeah. And then he just never really came back for me. Pause. But um, Lloyd Banks, to me, was talented. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He couldn't really put a song together to, like, go for I like mainstream, that. but... Shout out to uh, the Struggle for More 2 album. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, me and my brother almost got kicked off a uh, roller coaster because we kept saying G with it. That's funny. Yeah, we was just we was on a roller coaster and we just got G with it. Nah. And the lady was like, hey, can you stop saying that? And we just kept saying it. And then, like, yeah. Yeah, I was. And then she. Green ass nigga. We was children, man. So? We were like, I don't know the nigga, the nigga. He was like five. I had to be, I had to be like eleven or twelve. Nigga, we was children. Nigga, we was having fun. Nigga, say G. If we, if I was legit and I heard that, I still would have called you a green ass. Yeah, nigga. kids can have fun, nigga. Bruh. That's crazy, man. Have fun to yourself. You stopping everybody else? G unit. See. Okay. Green ass oh, nigga. Man. All right, uh, this one from Sir Jeshua. He said, if you could be at any famous or rumored hip hop moment, mm. like the Blackout record game, which would one would it be? I'm not really familiar with the Blackout record game. I'm not sure what that is. What? What is that? That's like what was supposed to be like the greatest basketball game that's, to have happened. That's the Kobe one? It was like KD and shit. Uh, um, right, it might not have been KD. I know LeBron was supposed to be in the shit. Um, oh, this is the one that happened during the lockout? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. There you go. And Jay and uh, who was it? Fat Joe had a, had a squad, Terra Squad versus uh, 
uh, I forget. Like I, I think it was Rock. I guess they was called. I don't know, but it was Fat Joe and Jay Z. I ain't familiar with that one, man. Hey, man, I'm a nigga, man. I would have wanted to be there at uh, the Source Awards when all them niggas was fighting. <laughs> when all them niggas was fighting. I think it was like Suge Knight people versus... Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Bad Boys. No, no, it was Suge. I would have wanted to be there, too, when, when D Hop. I mean, when Suge Knight was like, uh, uh, come to Death Row. If y'all, if I don't want to be dancing in the video. Yeah, yeah. definitely that. <laughs> no, I'm getting more ignorant. I want to be at the Source Awards. <laughs> When it was uh, it was Dr. Dre and them, it was like G Unit, Dr. Dre versus like Shook people, and Young Buck stabbed them <laughs> niggas up. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give you another one. Uh, when Fifty Cent beat up Gunplay, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wouldn't want to be at that one. But I fuck with Gunplay for real. Gunplay stood his own in that shit. He was fighting like ten niggas, bro. <laughs> I, I guess he stood his own. They tore, I mean, it, they they, tore him. Yeah, off. they beat him up and down the street. <laughs> but he said about Eddie Winslow, they beat him. They beat him to pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they tried. He tried to stand up and fight them niggas, bro. Damn. That nigga ran up and down that shit, getting his ass whooped, bro. They threw that nigga into a fence. They threw that nigga into a trailer, bro. They 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 turned that shit into a WWE backstage event. You remember? I think I forgot what club. It was. I think it was a cl- like a club in Tampa. You remember when that DJ had knock gun play out, play out, and they had that nigga gun play in the air, and that nigga was looking like a. I think somebody on Twitter said it was like somebody won. I think it was me that right? said it. I like it looked like somebody. I was like somebody won gun play at Chuck E. Cheese. Oh my god! Because they held bro, that nigga. That's crazy. They held that nigga up because he was like knocked out, and that nigga body was stiff like this. That's crazy. And I was like, it looked like they won that nigga at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. That was crazy. I was about to give credit to another <laughs> nigga on my joke, but yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Good play just be getting knocked out, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, he shouldn't fight. That's yeah, he sure. shouldn't. He just want to fight his baby. You see the shit he All did right. that day? I he, did. Yeah, he just want to fight his baby mama. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Keep your hands to yourself, niggas. Yeah. He was playing, I think he was playing Call of Duty. I was like, damn, that nigga was getting smoked. Oh, I did hear about that shit. Yeah. I ain't see what happened, but I did hear that he, like, beat up, right? I don't know if he put his hands on her, but uh, he was playing Call of Duty. He might he, he might as well. It was just as fucked up. He, uh, he was playing Call of Duty. His girl told him to, like, quiet down. And he was like, bitch, I'll kill all of us. Oh. Just that like that. crazy. Yeah. I mean, I, that, I, I, she should move out. She should remove the games or something. Yeah. She said he back on that Coke. Mm. So, yeah, that's why he was like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't be around Coke heads, but I guess that's just one of them. Bitch, I kill all of us. It's crazy. Nigga, yeah, and nigga was just playing that. Bitch, I kill all of us. Yeah, I was saying, that nigga had to be losing or something at that game. That nigga unlocked Chris Benoit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was playing a Chris Benoit DLC. That's crazy. <laughs> he like, bro, calm. I'm like, nigga, calm down, bro. I kill all of us, bitch. Nah, nigga, just do yourself, nigga. Leave us alone. That's insane. Rick Ross ain't mentioning it, and DJ Envy definitely ain't mentioning that shit. Yeah. He about to go. He might be going to prison. Well, hopefully. I'm yeah, joking. that's crazy. I'm that's I'm crazy, joking, man. Bro. That's that's all the listening questions. See, <laughs> listening questions. Hit us up, mail at ariopodcast.com. That's mail at ariopodcast.com. Let's get into the voicemail to hit us up. 424-260-REOP. 424-260-REOP. This one from um, B-Dot. B-Dot. And B-Dot, you got some nerve also. Clem's in his ass. You should be hiding out somewhere. Yeah, they just got whooped by Duke. Yeah, man. You know, when but he a Duke fan. Uh, no, nah, I think he like a Duke basketball ball. fan. Oh. Is that shit playing? But, um, I'm back to, I'm back to my monthly random shit I can't tweet. Yeah, it's playing out your damn. Uh, 
stops me every day is the one to talk. But um, but I think she's through dementia or whatever. So and I'll be scared to talk to her because I think she's going to pat me on my head and call me a good boy. <laughs> Not dog. That's, that's what I'm dreading. Because I ain't gonna know how to, I ain't gonna know what to say. I'm gonna want to steal off. But. Man, don't hit the old you know. lady. But then another thing that worked, I, had, I got a little accident. I was backing up wrong like, and ran over the dude's of grill and shit. Man, I looked around for cameras, ain't seen no shit, and I just darted off. But that's it. Some short. Also, shout out to my coworkers that look like Doe Ducks, Jerry the King. And Greg right. the Hammer Valentine, all men, they cool. All right. And also, I'm gonna leave y'all, leave y'all with this. This is how you know we're in a bad place. Cause Pinky, Pinky Doll might be the first woman, the first, the first, um, the first woman with on the spectrum. I ain't never seen a woman on the spectrum. She is the first. Yeah, God bless. Have a great show. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck is Pinky Doll? Oh, that's that chick. Like ice cream, so good. Oh, yeah. That was her. That's, yeah. That's a crazy truth to air. I don't know if she the first lady on Spectrum. I, I feel like. I mean, I don't know about the first, but she definitely. Uh, I think Christian Rock is on the. Salute to her. She had her baby. I don't know. I mean, she. Nigga said, she, I don't know. <laughs> she, I know. I'm saying she, 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 she was around a nigga doing crap. Who? You ain't see that video? Where she showed Blueface doing crack? No, <laughs> I'm dead ass serious. Nigga was doing crack. Yes, that nigga was smoking crack, bro. Don't sometimes the nigga smoke weed out the pipe, niggas? Not like that. Oh. So the nigga was doing crack cocaine out of smoking a crack pipe, bro. That's what I remember, bro. Where am I, what? Let's Google it. Bring it up, bro. I want to see this nigga do crack. I want to see. Yeah, I wanted. I wanted to be like Sugar Hill. <laughs> I want to see Blueface do that crack cocaine because it's like I never seen that shit. Or I probably did see it and forget. And I just forgot. But also, how can you forget a nigga doing crack cocaine? <laughs> nigga, you typing slow as hell. I don't know. I went there. It'll pull up in the images. Oh, that's it right there? (laughs) 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 Bro, look at this nigga, bro. No, he's smoking the fuck out that crack. Bro. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, ain't no way I'm real drunk about this. Hey, bro, I was like, I was about to say, man, that crack ain't going nowhere. Slow down, nigga, but it. (laughs) That might be you. You probably don't know when you're gonna get cracked the next time, so you probably gonna smoke it. Hey, I don't know what to say. You'll come around, bro. That, that nigga was smoking. That nigga the was smoking. Fuck out that <laughs> bro. bro, he was smoking the shit out that crack. Bro. That nigga said. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga ask. That nigga turned into a cartoon. I ain't never seen a nigga smoke crack like that, bro. Uh, Looney Tunes, bro. I thought you were joking. That nigga was that nigga was smoking crack. I don't think we could put that on a YouTube video, but that's bro, that nigga was smoking crack, bro. That's insane. She let him beat raw though, so that's on her. Yeah. Like I said, spectrum. Ain't no, <laughs> no women with sense letting a nigga that smoke crack be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get into the BG, man. BG free. That's what Turk was saying, man. How you feel about BG being home? Man, come on. That's all you got to say. <laughs> nigga said, man, come on. Bro, BG being home is, is fine. All right. You think they're going to do a tour? Um, I don't all, know, all them cool with Bird, man. No? Yeah. I mean, if they did a reunion shit, I don't think, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I think it would be cool. But um, I just don't want to hear no new music. All right, bro. This nigga, never mind, bro. Let's get into the next topic. This nigga, hey. <laughs> nah. I'm let's, go ahead, let's go ahead and play it. Oh, 
I don't know who these niggas is. I just see BG and Bird, man. That nigga just saying anything. <laughs> it's true. Real I niggas mean, back. Yeah. Real niggas out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope, man. And you like these niggas, you could tell these niggas like really family and brothers. Cause yeah. like no matter how now uh, nah, how, how how much issues they get in with Birdman, as far as money and yeah. songs and shit, they always come back to that nigga. Yeah. Cause it was it's, at the end of the day, it's bigger than money and music. Bro. Right, right, yeah. right. And I think at this point, you know, all of them really see the love for each other. You know what I mean? Like, them niggas started out when all of them was, <clears throat> like, relatively young. Yeah, like kids, like 12 years old. And yeah, like straight that. up. And Birdman and them were and nothing but probably, like, 22. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. That's dope. What you think next for uh, BG? Um... I don't know, man. I I, I I think that from here, he gonna focus up, try and chill out a little bit. That nigga been in, that nigga been, that nigga got enough coming out videos, like first day out videos. Mm. He could do a highlight reel. Yeah, I only seen this one. He got other ones? Yeah, man. BG kind of was in and out for a minute. You know what I mean? Oh. Uh, but. Well, he did 11 years. Yeah. What you mean, like, first day out, like, a song? No, I'm just saying, like, I want him to, to be home. You know what I'm saying? I think oh. everybody want him to be home. So. Oh, focus on with, like focus on family his family instead shit. of, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, niggas don't want to hear music. I don't know how the music going to sound. Let's be honest. Most niggas, when they get out of prison, that's, that music don't be good. Yeah, and, and at his age, like, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't think that that's... That's what needs to be the focus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's these niggas hugging right here. I don't know who the, who is this nigga in the background. A reunion would be dope, like you said, like a reunion tour. Yeah. I don't know when that would happen because like Wayne is on tour right now. So I don't know if the nigga would want to do back to back tours, but if that money right, I would. All right, so if they do a tour, they do state, not stadium, they do like arena show. You think it would be successful? Um, I think it would, but I don't, I don't, I don't know how well it would do like in the northern region and the western. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they really like they 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 blew up in the south. Well, they got they they, they had some. It was big all over, I think, but I don't know if they still relevant in other places. Yeah, I think that they had. I think that it's it's like hearing songs on the radio. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, I fuck with this group, but I don't know that they had the same success as they did in the South. Mm. Yeah, I think if they was to do a tour, it'd probably just be because like you got a headline it with Wayne, right? And he, like I said, he on tour right now. So I don't know if some people, some people want to double back and like, damn, I just seen Wayne. Do I really want to? Because I think, I think Juvenile's on tour right now too. You're like, all right, I want to see, I want to see little Wayne and I want to see Juvie, but do I really want to see Turk? Not after them <laughs> interviews. You know, like, do I, in, they fuck them interviews. Do I want to hear Turk music? Yeah. Do I want to hear Turk music? Do I want to hear BG? I want to see him. He's free. Right. But it's like, do I really want to see the nigga? Right. I'm thinking it for an up north nigga. I might be being ignorant right now. But probably, that's what I'm saying. Probably up north nigga like, nigga, oh, yeah, I fuck with BGB. Or some shit, however you niggas be sounding. Something yeah. like that. I don't know. I mean, again, I think that is <clears> like, <throat> it's easy to say you fuck with a group or for a band or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um but it's different when they're not like played on a regular basis when you're going out yeah. or, or where you at. You know what I mean? Hey, man, BG home. Hopefully, something good coming. I think it's gonna something gonna good come from it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. stay free. Just be with your family. I know Birdman got you. You probably ain't gotta worry from no money wise. I know Turk probably hating. I don't think Turk hating. I probably 
he probably might feel some type of way because he always said, man, when I got out, wasn't nobody waiting on me but my my wife. So I mean, he didn't get he didn't get the red carpet like BG getting, but no. I mean, <clears throat> there's a difference in the relationship too, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas can't be mad at that. Yeah, it wasn't well, BG was the first artist to cash money, right? Yeah. No, oh, yeah. There you go. That's his, that's his bread and butter right there. So yeah. that'd be crazy. Hopefully nobody else go to prison because it'd be a situation like, damn, we finally got them all, and then something happened. So mm-hmm. let's hope everything <laughs> goes well. And Juvie was popping, and they was like, yo, we got to get this nigga. You seen this nigga right here? Yeah, man. <laughs> Did you see the flick? So I got the alien. What's his name? Baby alien? Yeah. Did I you guess. see the flick? Nah. <laughs> I ain't see the flick, bro. You want to see it? All right. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. That's crazy. This episode is definitely <laughs> about to wrap up. Well, we at this nigga wild. We are actually about to wrap up soon, but... <laughs> 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 we're about, we're about 20, nigga, 20, 30 more minutes. This nigga is wild. <laughs> All right, so this nigga, Baby Alien, he was. <laughs> do you watch the fan van? I mean, I, a fan bus? It got a bunch of names. They call it a fan van and a fan bus. I mean, I seen it. All right. I seen the. Hold on, hold on. Did you see the interviews? Did you seen the actual flicks? The flicks. <laughs> You ever seen the interviews? Nah. For whatever reason, Charleston White was on that motherfucker. Get the fuck. I, why would they be doing interviews in the same van and <clears throat> doing porns? You wouldn't do an interview in this van? I mean, nah, am I getting pussy in the van? <laughs> <laughs> would you do an interview with the fan bus? I don't see a reason to. <laughs> Let, I don't know, bro. They got a big platform. I would do one. Yeah, you a freaky ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what if they be like, they hit you up and be like, hey, man, you you popping, man. We fuck with your podcast heavy. Right. Fuck with what you doing, bro. Let's get an interview with you. They wouldn't say, bro, could I be insane? Because I think like a white woman on this shit. <laughs> or she'd be like, you do an interview with the fan bus, and then afterwards, you you go, you go you get you some coochie. It ain't going to be recorded. That should be complimentary. You going with it? <laughs> I mean... That might change things. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga can't give a yes or no answer. I yeah. might be enticed to it. You know what I'm saying? I might be inclined. <laughs> what is the interview about? <laughs> yeah, they just ask you like random questions. Like, they right, ask right. you like, nah, hey, how you ever you. cheated on? Like, what's the most toxic shit? Yeah. Pretty decent questions. I fought, I fought with the platform. but yeah. Then, and it's cool also because it's pay homage to you remember uh, the bang bus back right. in the day right gotta pay homage it, actually I, I actually fought with this more than the bang bus yeah but they had uh shit done changed they had baby alien on there yeah so uh i'm trying to be respectful he's uh was it disabled uh yeah he's a small person right so uh he was on the fan bus I think he said he was 21 and he was a virgin. Let me play, let me play the video. Hi, Alien. My name's Aria Electra, and I see your video. You familiar I with her really game footage? I her. am. Is Shawty crazy? Whoa. I never heard of that. that. What would you do if she was here right now? Oh, oh my gosh. Right. Looks like you've been right. Yeah, I mean, you feel me the fruits? So you feel me? So she behind him. Yo. We got it. She's I told not- you. She's the one from the video? Yeah, I told you. Ain't no way, bro. <laughs> All right, so he's seen that. So let's let's fast forward. We can't play it on the YouTube, of course, but he ended up, he he, he legit smashed. Okay. It's out there. I guess you just put Baby Alien Fan Bus. It probably should pop up. Y'all know y'all know the Freak Bull website. Y'all should know him by now. Right. Uh, Yeah, go on one of them. Put his name in. This, this is going to pop up. Go on Reddit or something. <sighs> Are you still gonna watch her shit after fucking this dude? Cause that's that's I feel like this may sound problematic. I think that's deplorable. This kid is this <laughs> that, is, that is crazy. That is deplorable, bro. That this is crazy. This is this is a this, at the end of the day, it, he is I do feel sorry for him that he was a twenty two year old or twenty one year old virgin and he can't I don't get no even women. I believe that that's the case. He's a <clears> fucking actual porn star. But I don't think that 
I don't think he's not a porn star. Yes, he's not a porn star. He's not a porn star. He's just a regular YouTube nigga. He do skits. Okay. Okay. Did you you know something I don't know? Nah. You seen him in something? Nah. Oh, I don't know. Bro, not porn. Not bro, not a porn star. Anyway, she let him. He got more than one. He got more than this clip, though, right? No, I, I, all I know is he got that one clip. Okay. Apparently, he lost his virginity on this. Oh wow! So when he's that's his, she's his first body. Mm. So I don't know, bro. I think that's I don't know because she fucking a, a, a little person. Yeah, she's smashing a little person, I mean, and he's not just a he's not just a little person. He's clearly something's wrong with him. <laughs> Why you say that? I think he's he might be a little slow a little bit, bro. He might be. I think they, <laughs> if I feel like they're taking advantage, that's like me seeing radio on the couch and a bitch fuck radio. Like, why are you fucking radio, bitch? I don't know. That's crazy. <laughs> I might just be a hater because I want to smash her too. Yeah, I might just be a hater, but bro, it's like smashing radio. He can't control that condition, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> he can't control it. Huh? But then I also I don't also man I just might just be a hater because I'm like bro yeah you being insane right now this is, uh, you might want to edit this out I gotta edit this out I'm saying you look bad right now bro. I'm just I I'm I might be a hater you a big hater bro I'm sorry what if bro. you what if you about to get married right yeah and you see a little person on TV right <laughs> okay and your wife <clears throat> says. Damn, you know, back in the day, I was fucking a little person. What you gonna do, your All fiance? Right. So I'm, I'm about to get married, and my wife says she fucked wee man. <laughs> she gave wee man from jackass on pussy. Then I'm gonna think different about her. You going through with the wedding? No, I'm not actually. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, you, you laugh. You. We learned a lot through this podcast. You going through with a woman that let? What if you found out your girl let fucking Emmanuel Lewis clap her cheeks? I don't know, man. I mean, I wouldn't want to find that out. What I if you found out your girl was smashing, uh, rest in peace, Gary Coleman? Gary Coleman was tearing your girl up from the back. I don't know, man. I mean, that nigga was fucking your girl, Thompson. Say what? What you do? What you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? That's crazy. I seen some <laughs> fine little people. I have too, but it's like it's one. She got a podcast. She be boy. On I, I, it's one that's Puerto Rican, and she actually uh-huh. she did porn on this this one. Fan bus is where the disabled people can get. All right, all right. Stop <laughs> calling <laughs> them <laughs> disabled. What are they, nigga? <laughs> They are little people. They little people. But I'm saying he not just a little person. <laughs> he got something else, too. Like He on the spectrum. Yeah, I think he on the spectrum, too, bro. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't you you know. think he just simply a dwarf? I, I, I think that might be the case. I think that might be the case, bro. So I'm putting too much on his plate. One hundred percent. So me calling this deplorable is just ah, uh, just crazy. It's 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 extreme. <clears throat> so it's oh, you think it's okay that he got some coochie? <laughs> what is he supposed <laughs> to go his whole life without no pussy? No, then that's also. But I ain't, I don't want to be a hater because I'm like, bro, that's I salute him. Okay, here's the thing. So when I first seen this, I actually tweeted before it was actually revealed that he did it for him. Right. I like. Damn, bro, Virgin. I hope they got him right. That's cool if she would have got him right off camera. Yeah. But the fact that they had him on camera clapping his girl cheeks, I feel like they're taking advantage of him. I don't know. I mean, he took advantage of the opportunity. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely get the cheeks. Like, you want to. I don't know, bro. I can't imagine my first time is on camera. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I feel like they took advantage of bro. Um, he could have did it, but like, didn't do it off camera. I'm sure he agreed to it. I think they should do her just like I ain't about to say her career should be over, but they should like, sh- like shake shake a stick at her like they used to do the women that used to do ghetto <laughs> gaggers back in the day. They were like, "You're nasty. You yeah. did you did ghetto gaggers. <laughs> you sick bitch. Do do her like that." <laughs> Cause there's gonna be some dudes in the industry like, man, you let a let a little nigga hit. Yeah, I mean. <clears throat> 
Well, I thought his reign of terror was over. Apparently, he got another one coming out. And actually, I'm jealous at this one. I don't know who she is, but uh, I, I, I'm i trying to see. I don't give two fucks, but I am telling you right now, that motherfucker, that motherfucker back there is not real. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him with Tom. They're taking, they're taking advantage of this man. Nah, bro. He, I'm telling you, he might be a porn star for real, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, he a porn star now. I mean, genuinely. Yeah, he's he, he. If he wasn't one before, he is one now. I don't know, man. <laughs> but yeah. So let's say your favorite porn star hits a dwarf, right? Are you? I, and I don't even know, a little person, right? Yeah. Um, and she ready to give you the coochie? Yeah. You hear? What well, she did it on camera? Yeah. Oh damn. Oh yeah, 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 let's go. Yeah. You are? Yeah. So it don't change shit with your favorite. I'm not dating her though. True. True indeed. I would look at her, it's kinda of strange. Like if I seen like I'd be looking at my favorite porn star strange sometimes when they do white dudes. Yeah. 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 And I did do some um I was about to say shout out Lil' Reese, but don't shout out Lil' Reese. But <laughs> Lil' Research. I did I did a little research. And that lady, the first one, she, you said you familiar with a game. I seen her doing nothing but white dudes. Uh, she got a fan bus with a black dude. That's how I got, that's how I found out about her. Oh, that you, your homie. Who? You remember? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Y'all remember you met, bro? Who? He was at the witch of McCall. He was at the convention. You interviewed him. And I met this nigga. Yeah, Lil D. All right, bro. Don't call him that. <laughs> You reminded me of uh, when uh, Cedric the Entertainer had that joke back in the day. He was like, I ain't calling a nigga delicious. Yeah. <laughs> but that bro name, his name Lil. Yeah. That's his name, bro. <laughs> Lil Laugh the Seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's him. But yeah, that's that's who, that's probably like the only nigga she did. Uh, yeah, but that's how I got introduced. <sighs> All right, man. It's I might kind of footage. listen. To, let me know if I'm a hater. I might just be a world class hater, but I don't know, bro. He 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 doing his thing. Salute him. Yeah, it's worse things out in the world than this, of course. For sure, for especially sure. in the porn industry. Oh, it's a million times more worse shit than this. But Them I just thought eating ass on camera, they, like it be so unnecessary to me. Eating ass on camera. Yeah, the women like oh eating a guy ass. Yeah, I'd be like, yo, like, why the fuck are you doing that, bitch? Like, you know, it's crazy. That's like starting to be like normal now. Yeah, like, bro. I'd be like, yo, that that to me be deplorable. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, you are disgusting. That nigga be deplorable too. But both of them, both parties. I watched an interview. I had um, who was? I don't even fuck with with like if that shit play in a preview. Shoo. Yeah. I'm not really familiar with the. I can't. I can't never remember the guy porn stars. What's the man? Don't ask me. <laughs> it's the big, the big dude. He's not, not, not Mr. Marcus. I think he's had like shit cut in his head. Um. Uh, uh, <laughs> this this nigga, this nigga know the name. He don't want to say it because it's gonna look, look, look crazy. What bro name? You know his name. <laughs> That nigga Rico. <laughs> yeah, Rico Strong. That's right. his name. Yeah, yeah. yeah Yo. it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga do his Paul. name and they want to say it, dog. Pause, <laughs> Pause, Pause this conversation. <laughs> Man. Man, Pause. <laughs> Come on, bro. Ain't that wrong? You knew his name. I right, didn't. Bro. Yeah. yeah. Rico, Rico Strong. He was like, he was like, he don't like doing scenes with the new. Well, nigga, I watched his interview, so I might be worse than you. Uh, but yeah, the nigga, he said he don't like doing the, the scenes with like the new dude because he said he think all of them are gay because they just be doing like, you get your legs up. He said all the new dudes be wanting to do the like the DP scenes, and I was like, yeah, you getting your ass beat. <laughs> I don't watch none of that shit. Yeah, I don't watch. Yeah. I ain't watching no fucking gang bangs. Yeah, we amateur gang over here. I don't watch none of that, yeah. none of that freaky shit. What Pimp C said, I don't know if I got it on the soundboard. Like, I don't know if we got the family man on here. <laughs> nah, we ain't got it, but yeah. We ain't doing no orgies. We some family men. We ain't no freaks. 
I don't even want to talk about this girl that got hit with the brick. Real quick, you a uh, cigar smoker? Would you smoke this cigar? That's a big ass <laughs> fucking cigar, bro. I damn sure wouldn't take no fucking picture like that. Hey, why old niggas love taking pictures like this? I don't know, man. <laughs> like, I start to say, sir, what you got in your? This nigga smoking that Jason Love. This is a big All right. <laughs> All right, bro. That's a big ass cigar, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Stop smoking big cigars like that, nigga. This kind of this kind of dated. This is the topics we had last uh, for last week. Apparently, they bring it back fire fest. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh. Had this on the topics, the blind side shit. Yeah. Michael Orr. Yeah. Apparently, like, they'll take advantage of, bro. Oh, yeah. Clearly. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. They probably was getting money while that nigga was in college, too. <clears throat> Apparently, like, they still getting bread off him. Yeah. We get into this next week, I guess, when we got more time. I had, um, because you know how they saying blindside ain't really, the, of course, the movie ain't real. Yeah. Uh, I got like some movies that's like autobiographies. Yeah. That's like that. didn't but, match the real story. Right, right. But we ain't really got time for all that shit. Now we get into that next week. Yeah. Um, real niggas of the weekend, they need their ass beat. Send those in, hit us up. Mail at ariopodcast.com. That's mail at ariopodcast.com. I'll let you do yours first because I always go first, I feel like. All right. So, my first real nigga of the week is uh, Diddy, and this might be the only time Diddy makes this list, because <laughs> Diddy be wildin'. But he gave everybody back their masters, uh, and what they say, it, it, it totals out to uh, hundreds of millions. Yeah, they say hundreds of millions. Yeah, so. He given Mace, Faith Evans, The Locks, 112, and the Notorious B.I.G.'s estate. Their publishing rights. Uh, as a nigga that I don't really know about this, what does this mean? So, essentially, with your publishing rights, you can start to license your own songs and such. Okay. Like, you can do a lot with your publishing. Okay, so... So, let's say you knew somebody that was about to make <clears throat> a video game that would take over the market and you wanted to do the theme song for it so like as soon as they cut on the game your song is playing okay i can license this song to you so you can mass produce it and i get the royalties from that through my publishing all right that sounds cool so we're gonna see a oreos commercial with 112 with like, like cookies, and, cookies and cream, and cream yeah. cookies and cream yeah mm. did you did a you shouldn't have did that I take mean, them back i'm just playing did what you call it get his shit back oh um, what is it, Craig Mack? Craig Mack Estate? Mm-hmm. Nah, he like, I'm keeping this nigga shit. Yes, they are this, so <laughs> who knows? He said, Black Rob, I'm keeping your shit. Rest in peace. Man, it's bad niggas that was on Bad Boy that did. Right. Hey, man. They signed the bad luck. <laughs> did, did this nigga did he say, all right, I made enough money off you niggas. Go ahead and take y'all shit. Basically. Damn. That's crazy. And he probably did some kind of a deal to where it don't matter to him. It had to be. <laughs> he ain't do this out of the kindness of his heart. Nah. I know he Especially got Especially this late in the game. I think he got an album coming out like next week or something like that. R and B album finally coming out. Mm. The love the finally album. Up, finally coming out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh my second real nigga of the week is uh this jit uh in the Little League World series. It's the furthest um home run. Ever? Yeah, in their history. Little League World Series history. What's his name? His name is Jace well, Blaylock. He gets Jace one. Blaylock. It is going to go a long way. They said it, he can hit it in the trees. Now, if he hits it that far, I, it just... Boy, they ride it in me. Balls. Huh. There you go. Rightfully so. It's you see that shit? No Ugly lad boy. And guess what? It's in the trees. That was a grand slam? Oh, yeah, that was a grand slam. Yeah. Shit, the, the 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 other team was was dapping them up. <laughs> yeah. They say, "Hey man, ain't nothing nobody can do with that." 
Look at that. <laughs> All right, bro. He would have been doing some suicides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, don't dap the other team up, dummy. Bro, that nigga slapped that bit. <laughs> It remind Slap me of that one home. kid. You remember the kids that was slap boss in the hallway? You like, damn nigga, you good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. I thought that one kid was straight up. <laughs> All right, man. I got uh <laughs> in in the vein of sports, I got Jalen Brown. Salute him, man. Let's go. He said he not playing in the Olympics, but he did play in that big three all star game. Salute, man. It, Let's it go. was dude it was dope because he sold like uh What's the word? Is it like uh, solidarity mm -hmm. to Ice Cube? Because you know Ice Cube been saying the NBA been hating on them. They've been blackballing them, man. It was dope that Jalen Brown said, and you know Jalen Brown, he just signed that big contract. He said yeah. he risking shit. So I'm about to play in this game, man, for Ice Cube to get some, get his ratings up. It was it was it was a dope moment. So hopefully more NBA dudes start to do that. Yeah, I think that's gonna happen. That's definitely gonna happen for, for sure. sure. Yeah, especially with uh, these younger cats that that like the attention and <clears throat> you know kind of feed off the hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing the big three, man. Just don't. I wouldn't say play a full season. Just play like a game. A few here games, yeah. Yeah, here and there. Yeah, y'all niggas playing a Drew League. Playing them there. niggas in the off season really should discuss that shit though. Like, yo, look, next year let's all take them a, a rotating schedule type shit. Yeah, in groups that niggas fuck with, man. Hey boy, yeah. All right, so it's getting some wrestling. I got uh, Brutus Creed. He just pulled off an insane move. I ain't never seen no shit like this. He had somebody in a sharpshooter, then he hit somebody with a, a one-handed power bomb. Who you got your money on? Uh, you can't bet against huh? Schism you got your in this on? moment. But if the Creed brothers, specifically Julius, what is a victorious fuck? tonight, the Creeds looking for what a job. What the, the hell? <laughs> Then, I, ain't, uh, I ain't never seen nah, no shit that's like that. crazy, bro. That's I gotta crazy. Play that again. One handed power. Who you got your money on? Uh, you can't bet against uh, Schism who you got your money in this on? moment. But if that the Creed said, brothers, nah. specifically Julius, is it victorious tonight? The Creed's looking for Bruh. a job. That was a one on power hey, line. What the hell? And Booker T, what the hell? <laughs> on commentary, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think nobody a real nigga. I just gotta do whoever did like the commentary on this real nigga of the week. You see this with the zesty grill? Yeah. This stuff, I swear this is like one of the funniest videos I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> nigga was in front of a gorilla cage and I don't know the gorilla said, I want you. Yeah. And I need you. That's tough. They got you locked up for life, my boy. The hell wrong with you? <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> <laughs> I got this uh, this nigga right here, man. He cut promo of the century, man. Yeah, bro, but he wanted them, bro. He was talking about them people like he was he was. Hey, man, I don't know, but he cut promo of the century on them scammers. Yeah. Oh no, was he say was he cutting it on a scammer or was he was cutting it on himself? Because he was like he spent the money, but he was like I I did a charge back. But he did also did a video how he was saying he don't fuck with scammers, so I don't know. But you think he one of them people? He no, little, he got, I'm gonna he, tell you when. <clears throat> go ahead. And play he, little, he, he got a little. Oh yeah. He little, little got a little something in the tank. Yeah, he got he got that gorilla. In him. This message was a motherfucker. <laughs> That's racist. That was credit racist. card information when I was No, it was relevant, bro. I spent eighty six dollars at Marquette, four hundred dollars at brunch, and then went to Six Flags yesterday. And then I also paid your phone bill and bought shit off Amazon. Yeah, Fonnie Willis will be contacting you. I hope she hit your ass with a Rico. <laughs> you silly bitch. Why would you pay your phone bill? Them people finna find your ass and turn you every which way but loose. How you don't even know how to do credit card for our right? Po ass scammer. Po ass and then y'all went to the gay club, so it probably was one of you. I'm a, a I'm a See? vibe. <laughs> See. He was about to call out his brother in arms. <laughs> Probably one of you, man. You know they, you know the gay niggas were using the slurs the most. Yeah, here's some older ones. I don't give a fuck. Oh, this one from Fade. So we tragically had a shooting a couple weeks ago. Yeah, two weekends ago in Jacksonville at a Dollar General. A racist motherfucker. Yeah, went through, shot up the Dollar General. Um, killing three people. Yeah, killed three people. Yeah, very sad. Yeah, uh, 
DeSantis came down here. You know, everybody know he made that gun rule January. And yeah, they were booing his ass. I don't know why he thought it was okay for him to come down here. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is here. <clears throat> Blue and Anthony Governor, he will come down and come down. Come down. He said, I don't know why he would come here. We definitely don't fuck with him at all. Yeah. What is it like? He changed the policy January 1st? Like, it's already. Yeah. Yeah. And I I don't want to say it, but it, it might In get July worse. July 1st. It was July 1st. July 1st. Yeah. You think shit going to get worse? Uh, I do think that we will start to see things that we <clears throat> might not have necessarily had to deal with you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah. as much before but we gonna see and i don't want to wish nothing yeah yeah of course right clear it up also uh this was for fate he wasn't giving DeSantis real nigga the week right the people booing. he was giving yeah. the people that were booing him real nigga. just to clear it up yeah code this one from kojo he said the ravens are believed to be the first team in NFL history to have all African American QB, all African American QB room from players to coaches. So they got uh, QB Tyler Huntley, Jamar ja- uh, Lamar Jackson, Josh Johnson, and coaches T. Martin. And I don't know the other coach, but salute to them. That's dope. Yeah. That's a dope picture. Yeah, yeah, dope pitch. I ain't gonna give y'all too much because we in the same, we in the Jags in the same division as y'all. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not same division, conference, AFC. And yeah. We don't give y'all niggas too much, but salute y'all boys. They need their ass beat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is this, bro? I want you to go first now. <laughs> hey, I got this, uh, you know, uh, damn, what's the chick name? Breezy, breeze, something Breezo. She from All Americans, the show. No, no, the, the Dyke. Uh, what else she was on? She was on Empire. I uh, see a little bit of it. Anyway, she like a, she like an actress, and she knew music now. Okay. She kind of, she's pretty corny. She's kind of, she's a, she's a lame. Let me see. This video, bro. <laughs> so she doing this do shit now. Where she's like doing an R&B as a as a man called Miz, so she's like cause she dressing up as a dude. It went viral because they were saying she looked like bruh from uh, Smart Guy, uh, Jason Weaver. She was they were saying yeah. he, she like Jason Weaver. Now, she got from the Fresh Prince, <clears throat> yeah, from the clip, the song sound decent, but I'm giving her they need their ass beat because she played the song in the clip. And it sounded decent, but when the song came out, the song was completely ass. So I'm giving you they need I'm giving her they need ass beat for cosplaying as the nigga from Cameo. <laughs> and then dropping a song, making me think it's gonna be hard, and then it was ass. Yeah. But let me know if you think the song is hard from right. the clip from the clip. Right. It got some potential, but the song is completely garbage. Um, I can believe it, but why the fuck is she making that? Uh, like, I'm not even gonna ask about that. Is that that's that's ridiculous? <laughs> it's all like why she dressed like a nigga. Yeah, I don't know, man. Another they need to ask me. I got that. I got CM Punk getting my wrestling bag. CM Punk, you need your ass beat. Tony Khan, you need your ass beat also. Uh, Jungle Boy, you need your ass beat also. All three of y'all, y'all need your ass beat. So recently, CM Punk was fired from AEW Mm -hmm. for his getting into an altercation with Jungle Boy backstage at a a 
pay per view they did in London called I think it was called All In or some shit like that. Pay per view was ass. I'm giving it uh, CM Punk because CM Punk is a cancer to the wrestling industry. Mm. He's no long he's no longer good in the ring. He's terrible in the ring, but he tries to dictate everything he go every everywhere he goes. He think he that guy. He's not that guy anymore. And I also want to give the they need their ass beat to Tony Khan because this is your problem. You let CM Punk come in. He gave him all kind of all kind of uh, passes. He got into a, a altercation with the EVPs last time. Beat them up. Mm. Got suspended. Him his his homie got suspended also. Uh, what's the dude name? A Steel got suspended. Not only did they hire CM Punk back. They and they hired his homie back too, gave his homie back pay for the time he missed while suspended. I think they missed like a couple months, like four months or something like that. Gave him back pay for that. Gave CM Punk back pay. Let him let him come back. Gave him his own show on Saturday. The show is called Collision. That shit will be canceled by. I think that show will be canceled by Christmas. Cancel That's crazy. You know how they say cancel Christmas. Yeah. Cancel Christmas on Collision. Because college, because <laughs> college football back that shit is on Saturday at eight p.m. That shit is getting canceled. That's time, yeah, yeah, because the draw of the show is CM Punk. He's no longer there. Yeah. They gave him his own show because they was too pussy to tell him to fall back because he's on the other show with the EVPs with the other dudes that he fought. So they gave him his own show, so he got to be on a show with them because that's how pussy is. In the WWE, if you fight somebody in the back, you're not going to get your own show. You're getting fired. Right. Right. So they gave him his own show. They just let him run around like he Pac, and they shot that he went in the back and fought somebody because he fought somebody before and got his job back. His homie got a raise. So, yeah, he's right. like, oh, I could beat motherfuckers up backstage. Yeah. That's the issue. Then they did that, and then Tony Khan going to hop on fucking Dynamite Thomas him, or it was a collision. He Thomas him, I fire CM Punk because I feared, I never feared for my life before. You're nah, a bitch. You're corny. That's crazy, yeah. <laughs> what is CM Punk going to do? Kill you? you yeah, like CM Punk was back there with a the fire. He's not going to kill you. So, everybody in AEW, AEW is just a terrible show. Yeah. I keep hearing that. It's, it's really bad. It's like it's like the bottom of the barrel of wrestling. So, I don't, Start your own network, bro. Start my own? Yeah. I might, bro. Let's do nigga wrestling. That's crazy. <laughs> that's, 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 actually, no. Uh, I got this nigga... <laughs> DeAndre Ayton, bro. Are you familiar with her game footage? Nah. Uh, yeah, she in she in the she in the game too. She got some game footage. Uh, Cat Leah. Okay. She's a porn star. So I'm uh, salute the salute him. He got a he, he a young nigga. He got money. Right. Of course, yeah, yeah. Smash smash on the porn star. Nothing wrong with that. Now this is egregious to be out with the porn star, letting her film you, and you're a hot nigga, hot combing her hair. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nigga, combing her hair, bro, and he letting her film him. Yeah. Nah, that's 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 fatherless behavior right there. Yeah. yeah. Nasty. Yeah, you're wild and big time. Yeah, I'm gonna skip some of these these lame ass niggas. Yeah, he a, he a, he a super lame. Yeah. That nigga corny. Uh, I got this nigga, man. This nigga talking about something. He had uh he ain't had no microwave in his hotel. So he put some um, White House burgers on the iron, on a towel. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Bruh. First of all, that towel been up a million niggas' asses. <laughs> <laughs> and you that got that on your true. burger. Yeah. I got that cop we talked about him earlier. Yeah. This one right here, I'm going to wait till next week because this, this is like, 10 minutes okay this nigga with his uh camaro yeah we're gonna do that next week it, it, it'll be too long to uh break that down all right i got this nigga he was in court with ysl yeah and nigga, <laughs> i guess he's trying to plead insanity yeah. it's a show judge oh it is yes. okay all right well i'm gonna go ahead and judge glamble and i don't play so stop showing out <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see Mr. Jimenez, you want to tell your client to get a grip on himself? So this nigga been doing this like the whole court. Apparently, uh, young thug lawyer said, hey, man, I don't want him a part of this case, though, boy. So separate, separate him from young thug. But yeah. 
That's that's funny as hell, bro. And y'all telling hey, nigga, yeah, gonna gonna you did the right thing. You got the fuck up out of there. And you dropped a good album, so we can overlook a lot of it. Yeah. All right, it's on you. All right, go ahead. Uh, we got this light skinned nigga, and I just want to want y'all to see how many other white. You know, demographic, my man was hollering at. Before I went to bed last night, I put up 100 shots. Nothing crazy either, just routine, working on my craft, trying to get better. I get these shots up at night because it's easy. Number one, I'm not even worried about a reply. And I'm focused on my form because that's what matters the most. Not if you make them. Who cares how many shots I make? It's more about, am I taking good shots? A lot of y'all had this mindset where you shoot one or two times and then you stop shooting. I shoot three shots in three seconds. I get these shots off so quick, it's like defenders don't even have time. And I see y'all's comments, oh, aren't you afraid you're gonna miss? Let me tell y'all something. There's no such thing as a missed shot, okay? You either make the bucket or you learn. If I'm learning what I did wrong, I'm not missing, I'm gaining. You think I wanna shoot all these shots? No, I don't do it for personal reasons. I do it because I want to get better. I literally have a girl. I could be chilling with her, but I'm still in the gym getting up shots every day because I have love for the game. That's passion. And you know what the best part is? You wake up and you realize you hit a few. As long as I make one, I feel like I'm shooting 100%. All right, you're saying a whole bunch of nothing. That's the technique though, right? Uh well, I mean, he he's just shooting that number white women. Yes. But the technique was like back in the day, wasn't it? Like just Get go through all, up. go through every woman. Like even if you don't, you just go through it. Just like which is kind of dangerous because you might fuck around and hit your cousin. All right. <laughs> you might. <laughs> you was wild. No, I didn't say I did that. I but I'm just a, saying, like, hey, hey. imagine like it's every girl listening in Jacksonville, yeah. and yeah. you just going through. You might actually hit your cousin or something like right. that. Now she think you're a weirdo because niggas just like just blindly just hit everybody. Yeah. And whatever and whatever girls hit you back, you go through that. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know. That was, that used to be the technique, but. He's hitting but nothing, nothing but white women. The reason I never did it, because I was like, first of all, I never really did fuck with a date and ass like that, but I was like, I might hit like a, a cousin or something like a, somebody <laughs> like a home, like hit a home girl. Yeah, yeah. The home girl was like, oh, you trying to talk to me? Like, no. All right, what's your next one? Um, My next one is this fucking coach. The coach punched the kid in the stomach, man. Oh. oh, that's my real nigga of the week. Oh, you out. Uh, <laughs> Fly's gonna come beat your ass. That's crazy. Oh, Deion Fly's Sanders. dropped a hell of a promo uh, behind that shit. On oh, this? Yeah. I'll add it if I find it. Uh, real quick. Fuck nigga, go join the army. <laughs> really? He probably can't. He probably is. He too old. What is the nigga? It seems like Plot only dropped Pop Warner videos now. He only talk about Pop Warner football. That's funny. Yeah, he need to be the coach of a team. Oh, yeah, Deion Sanders, real nigga of the week. I forgot to mention him. Oh, yeah. Him, Shador, Travis Hunter. Yeah, they went crazy. Man, Colorado, like, yo, shout out to them boys for real. Yeah, shout out my. Uh, Let's not. Let's not. What? Let's keep going. Oh. Uh, shout out to Gators. Did y'all win Come this? On, bro. Y'all what won? Are you doing? Y'all didn't win? What oh, are okay. you doing? What about Clemson? Did they win? What are you doing right now? Hey, y'all nigga, y'all niggas from the uh the U, y'all happy. Like we won, but y'all niggas play ITT tech. That shit don't count. <laughs> 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 niggas play little niggas. Oh yeah, my last one is uh my last real nigga of the week. I mean uh, they need they ass beat is that family that held a funeral in their house. Oh, uh, let's play that. So I'm riding with my mom, and she said that we about to go to a funeral that's at somebody's house. Where the body at? In the house, goddammit. This old school shit. This okay. Down south shit, girl. Mom, is this really a funeral? Yeah, yeah motherfucker. What the fuck you mean? This is Brittany Hill shit. Yeah. yeah. Brittany Hill's Brittany motherfucking Hill. shit. So the body Same is here. Money. The body is here to when? 11 o'clock to Tonight. tomorrow. No, tomorrow? in the morning. Tomorrow. And then, and then we go to bring out church. Yeah, we go to the, the service. service. For the service. I want to see the body. Don't see it, dummy. Play it. Is yeah. the body really in the house? Oh, come on. Look through the fucking glass. Look at my nigga Jake Strange, man. <laughs> uh, you got poor loco. You know, I like this shit right here. <laughs> you want a cigarette, man? 
Gotta have a name for it. This is legal? Yes. Yeah. If you own your property, you can get buried on your land. Okay, and we're getting buried here. back here? Yeah. He's getting we're buried in one of these spots back here. Well, they ain't got this shit clear, like, That's his cat. What time the funeral over? It's six o'clock. And I already know don't nobody else live in the house. They probably don't even own it. This is, so this is the funeral and the repast. All of that. Now tomorrow we have a uh, service. Um, nah, Hell he right here. He own that shit. I about to say, nigga, a nigga can't own this house? Yeah, nah, that nigga own that shit. Yeah, he own that bit, but I hope, nigga, they, whoever <laughs> gonna play the taxes on that motherfucker. Bro, I hope they don't sell or lease that motherfucker. Keep that shit in your family. Oh, yeah, man, that's crazy. I don't think you can bear it. Nah, Florida, you got to. They don't even give you the option. Yeah, you yeah, can't do that man, shit. That's crazy. I ain't never seen no shit like that. Uh, this one from Tim, he said, <laughs> some nigga had tweeted, <laughs> as of today, Colorado. Colorado Bro, I, I can't ever say that shit right. Colorado this nigga about is an an H H Chill out, man. <laughs> it's an HBCU, and we all went there. I don't know about all that, my nigga. Goofy ass nigga. Colorado. Blavity nigga. Boy, stop. That shit ain't no HBCU nigga. Y'all niggas lame. Uh, this one from Vince uh, 23. An Illinois man is facing bank robbery charges after allegedly entering a bank without a disguise, leaving and returning, wearing fake dreadlocks and to rob the place. Nigga legit had on the same feet. Nigga, is that, Damn, is that Banks? <laughs> <laughs> nigga ain't think to take the vest off, nigga. They still would have knew he was him even with the vest right. on. Right. Nigga just, he did change his pants. That was it. And his shoes. He changed his shoes, too. Yeah. Nigga Winnie the pool out there. Nigga, <laughs> nigga naked from the waist down outside. But he's like, I'm going to keep this vest on. <laughs> that nigga was wilding. He did change the hat also. Yeah, just, he, he, it looked like he put on black to navy blue. Yeah, you ain't changed the right thing, you dumbass nigga. All right, this one from Rand, this nigga. All right, bro, what's going on? He put a bottle up his ass. <laughs> I don't want to ever be that bad, man. Bruh. To put up, nigga put up. I guess he didn't. Guess he didn't drink the whole bottle because the bottles do be about fifty dollars in the club sometimes. Bruh. I ain't giving. I just don't want to ever be that bad. It reminded me of this shit right here. You ever see the picture? The nigga just he sat on. <laughs> nigga sat on a Hennessy bottle. Told him anything is possible. That's crazy. That Henny, that uh Henny thing is possible era was probably the worst era yeah, of Twitter. It was, it was disgusting. It was the green. That was the green ass nigga. Y'all niggas was drinking nasty ass Hennessy. Y'all know how I Hold feel up, about man. Hennessy. Hennessy disgusting, man. Until you drink that shit. Until I drink, I've drank Hennessy plenty I mean, of times. Consistently. Yeah, yeah. You don't like anything consistently. I don't never have a hangover on Hennessy. I don't never have like. No, like that, that shit. I can hold my liquor well, but I done been very fucked up on Hennessy as of late, and I ain't, I ain't, I ain't threw up or none of that shit. I don't even feel like you know I got to the room. Don't be spinning, nigga. I fuck with Hennessy now. First of all, it's nasty. So yeah, you just you force yourself to like it. I mean, yeah, consistency is key. Yeah, nigga, you consistently drunk nasty shit. Now you like it. You just force yourself to like it. Um, the Talladega Knights got these niggas. They was in the club. This is why I don't like. I hate club culture. Bunch of niggas just in the club pouring out liquor. And one of them niggas, that big nigga, he pouring out some brown, bro. That shit like that shit like sweet tea. <laughs> that didn't even look like liquor. Yeah, I getting finesse because the club owners, they just about to take those bottles and put some shit in there and just sell it back to y'all dumb asses. 
Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's club culture is like one of the dumbest shits ever. I, I'll let y'all have it. It's some young. I feel like it's young nigga shit, but I just think clubs are the stupidest shit ever. Uh, I don't know. I like to go out there and get them, you know, get my meat rubbed. Mm. Nah. Niggas, do be motherfuckers be dancing like that in their clothes? I don't know. I ain't been in a long time now. Oh. I be in the bars now. All right. Is this, this, this on me? Uh, I think so. Yeah, go ahead. You gonna read it. I think it's Talladega Nights. Oh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. I think it is. Uh, I think it is. Uh, all right, Florida woman made an obituary of her baby daddy who's still alive for being a fuck nigga. All right. He's still alive, but he's a fuck nigga, so she made him an yeah. obituary? Yeah. This gives you the deadbeat. Being cause of death being a fuck nigga. Yeah. Take your rest, baby daddy. I, I got, got it, it from here. I know you I know you would have just wanted to. Make Wanted sure, make duty. Sure. Know how strong you were. I need you, but God needed you more. I'll never forget all the memories. Well, that's crazy. Yeah. Service will be in hell Saturday at ten a.m. Shot sure, must be out, of man. Yeah, that's a little, that's a little extreme. If he a deadbeat dad, then I guess I don't know. But yeah, that's that's a lot because I already know if bro dies, she's gonna be the first one crying. Yeah. Oh, not this nigga again. Uh, do we need to play the video? I, 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 no, no, no. Let's say this one from King. It's a Bam Man Kevo got Donald Trump mugshot tattooed. Uh, nah, we, I'm, I'm not playing that with that silly yeah. nigga. <sighs> That's it. Bam Man Kevo, yeah, you, 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 you need someone with some guidance to talk to you. <laughs> It's nothing. It's no nothing. Nobody can say he got a BBL. Yeah, he a man with a BBL. That's good. now he got Trump tattooed on his thigh. Yeah, crazy. On his BBL thigh. All right, that's this has been another episode of Random Max Podcast. Yeah, bro. end this shit. It's your boy Ampervelli. and Mister Mister Jefferson. <laughs> That was a crazy. That was a crazy ending. It's really I, you can't really end it on it. Like, you just talked about a nigga with a BBL. The nigga said a BBL. <laughs> that's, that's insane. It's like no way to end it. But all right, I wish we had another. They need their ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's been another episode of Random Max Podcast. Tap into the Patreon, Patreon.com slash Ario Podcast. Got some bonus shit on there, man. Yeah, yeah. Tapping. Y'all know what it is, man. Like, comment, share. Yeah. Do all of that shit. Yeah. With all that said, we out.